if it works this time. Or I'm basically going to have to do this all on my own. As I don't know what the hell the problem is. Okay, try try speaking. Uh, yeah, okay. I I don't know what I don't know what the problem is. Yep, I don't know what the problem is, so I'm just gonna have to do it by myself. That's all right. Yeah, I just I if they wanted input from you guys, but that's fine. I'll just do it myself. All right. Uh, video quality's good. Yes, looking perfect. Now let's kick it off. I'm gonna have to figure out what Twitch is. Twitch has done something in the last two days because this is all messed up now. <clears throat> all right, so let's talk Bears. Uh, they got the number one overall pick, so Justin Fields definitely on the way out. Hasn't moved him yet, though. That's a little interesting. No, no buyers yet. Uh, running back room. Gus Edwards is not a bad. Addition at all. Get a little thick there in case my something happens to Montgomery. Uh, no more really additions in the wide receiver room. It's still pretty solid. That this is an interesting one. They went and grabbed Thaddeus Moss. Interesting. They do, do they run? Yeah, I think they do run an H back, not a full back. So <clears throat> that is going to be a difference maker. Moving on, we got Tevin Jenkins still. No real additions on the offensive line. I don't think so. Uh, Jason Pierre-Paul was added to this group. I mean, he's definitely cheaper than the previous two. Any additions here? Wharton, that's a pretty good rotational guy for third downs. They can't really move on from Reed. That's unfortunate. Denzel Perryman. I mean, it's a vet. Does the ice here see your free agent, Shea? He traded for Leatherwood? Yeah, that was a probably smart decision, honestly. His, his depth is a little lacking past that Elijah Wilkinson. I'd, I'd even consider moving him back to tackle here. No real additions at the corner room. Graham's there, but I mean, man, he was given a rough hand getting this Bears team. It is all over the board. He was given a rough hand. I I won't val. I mean, I won't. I won't value him too high. I'd give him basically just a C. Like he did what he, he did what he could. Cause he was. This is awful. He's only got like four million cap space too. And that's, I think it's even before rookie reserves. This is just a bad hand to be given. Townsend's nice, though. I like that. Bengals. Uh, I won't talk to them too much since we don't have a user currently. This is a Super Bowl winning roster. They should be able to compete immediately. I won't talk about their signings. I'll just show off the team. We'll move on. All right, let's move on. <coughs> Pardon me. All right, Bills. This is another one that was given a bad hand. Guess the best QB in the draft? Yeah, that's, that's just one positive. This is another very expensive team that just doesn't have much to go off. This Trubisky contract is coming back to haunt. Big Kareem Hunt. Hunt taking that deal over the contract I offered him, which was a decent amount more than that. Uh, surprising, but definitely helps this this cap situation greatly. No real additions there. Yeah, you're not complaining, Grim. <laughs> Offensive line's not really changed. D line's also not changed, but still a pretty solid group. No one really that's an outlier. I mean I kinda of figured ooh, there's a big hole at that side though. So linebacker becoming more of a need and not much money to fix it. This corner room is 
Interesting. I liked the Fenton grab. I think he's a great corner three, corner four. I like that grab. He's really stuck on contracts, though. Paying Micah Hyde that much. At least he's got Bubba Bolden. That's always... That's always... <laughs> at least he's got Bubba Bolden. Uh, this is definitely slightly above average. G getting Kareem Hunt for that deal to fix a massive hole in the running back room, uh, that's a difference maker. Definitely a C plus to a B minus, I think, as moves here. Broncos. Uh, no quarterback to speak of. That is definitely worrisome. Because uh, Malik Cunningham, I don't even consider a quarterback. He is awful. He's god awful. No additions to the running back room. You didn't need it. No real additions anywhere else here. That guy at the bottom is going to be cut. Still a very solid receiver room. Just very good roster across the board. No real additions, though. Not too much changing from year one to two. This guy's getting a little older. He just signed to Quan. Uh, it says it looks like it was an extension. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like really no additions. Uh, this is also one of the other open teams, but the guy did have some time to make some moves. Malik Cunningham MVP. I I'll quit analyzing football if Malik Cunningham even breathes close to that. I'll just I'll just quit. I'll, I'll you will never have to hear me talk shit again. So I won't talk too much more about the Broncos. I won't give him a grade because again, he he's already left, but he had a chance to sign. Browns running with Emery. I think that was kind of the logical thing that was going to happen. Bring in McKissick. Definitely third down back needed. He did do some work for Shea, but uh, he was overtaken. Interesting bringing in Olawale. This must have been that <laughs> that. A uh, little bit I saw people trying to do last night, trying to get the worst fullback. No additions at wide receiver, but Zach Pascal, he, he put in work. If he gets that uh, upgrade, that'll be helpful. No other additions. Fifth year option for Willis. Ah, Matt Paradis moving to guard as a as a veteran. Yeah, that that helps alleviate the blow to Batonio going, especially since you still got Mac there. I, I probably would cut Mac at this point and have Forbes be my backup. I'd rather just have the cap space, but he's got nothing but cap space. He, he's got all the all the cap space in the world. You can eat it. I like Banner. Some edge depth needed, but not too much difference there. Some uh, he's, He needs a left outside linebacker. There's a couple guys here you could consider, depending on what that role is for you. Could even consider moving Greenlaw out there. He paid the bag to him. Still got JOK. Some little late round additions probably from your practice squad down here. Yeah, I mean this is just it's just a C. Like I'll give you a C basically if you do nothing to hurt your team. And he doesn't make any moves I think hurt his team at all. So yeah. Pretty decent, just average. Oh Brady's down to an eighty five now. He's outliving his real life self. So Damian Harris is brought in here. I mean, that just puts James Conner on the out, but Harris is a much better back. So that's an upgrade. You only got to eat 1.5 mil in cap space. Yeah, that's a logical move. Any other additions? Not really. Those guys late down there are really not good. I like that. I like bringing in Smith. I like that. That I do like more. What's his blocking rating right now? Yep, yeah. That's that's your Gronk replacement for your tight end too. I think that's a very solid move. That's a resign. There is a gaping hole still here at interior D line. You've got Vita Vea at, your, at nose. Bringing in Doug Costin definitely helps, but. Oh, 
So you guys, since you guys can't hear, uh, apparently he was trying to sign Kaminsky, and that did not work out well. <laughs> so like the strengths of this team are still the strengths of this team. Like Hodge Thompson, Brenton Rogers, like. There's still a lot of strength we had in this team. Ah, Landon Collins is safety three. I think I like that. Because I think the safety three for him probably would be coming sitting down in the box on the left side most of the time, which is what Landon's good at. I'll give it a B off season. None of these moves hurt him, and they'd all help him. Still some holes left that weren't really addressed, but that's why we have the draft. Cardinals. No real moves at the running back room. That's interesting. Carry on maybe can break out here. He definitely is the more thicker of the of the backs remaining. Yeah. Uh, I like Penny Hart. That is expensive though. Moreau. So this is who he went to get the at. Land on cheap deals not bad. Yeah, he's not bad. Can't pay him twenty though, I agree. Yeah, this is a very Zach Ertz type build here. So if you basically wanted a younger Zach Ertz, I mean, Foster Moreau might be able to replicate it. He went and grabbed Trey Hopkins. This is a Band-Aid. Like, talented. He's pretty solid. But I don't think this is a long-term option. This is definitely signing just for this year. DeCastro, same thing. Yeah, the whole line is very, very much a Band-Aid. Uh, I would definitely, if I was him, potentially consider O-line throughout the later parts of this draft. Matt Ioannidis was a great grab. This this helps fix one of the two massive gaping holes in the interior. You got Jordan Davis for nose tackle purposes. That's good still. But you definitely need to figure this out. You don't want to be running in there with Lake a full two as your... <laughs> <laughs> as your other IDL there. That makes me a little worried. But grabbing that I Knights is nice. I like that. Little. Ah, and Gawk will probably play left. Okay, so that does fix that issue. They're veterans. I mean, they're not going to probably get any better. Especially with, I mean, how much longer is Chandler Jones going to play? Yeah. You, uh, all these moves put him in a position to keep playing. And be competitive this year. Getting Slay via trade. That's not bad. Callahan to fix the slot role. You got Emerson and Wilson to play on the outs. This is massive. That's a downgrade. Going from Thompson to Julian Love. Hurts. I think a lot. Because Julian's only like 5 foot. Oh, yeah he's 5 foot 11. If this was a better safety class. I'd be more saying go, go get a safety. And he does not have special teamers. I think that lowers this to a B for me. I, I would consider giving this an A with how much it still keeps him in playoff contention. But, uh, like, literally, the, you just if you hit an injury bug season like I just had, this whole thing crumbles. God, I hope you get Lady Luck on your side. Uh, Chargers, I, I mean, do, do you guys really want me to talk about my own off season. I feel like that's. I feel like that's really like. <laughs> I feel. I feel like a hypocrite talking about my own team. <clears throat> uh, I won't talk about the guys I traded for much. I, I got Aaron Jones. He's got his college number twenty nine. Yep. He is not deserving of thirty three on this team. Only Derwin gets that number. Kadarius Tony, this is a big trade by me. I am very, very, very happy about this. I basically went and got a lot of Florida boys. <laughs> no, I'm gonna make him stay at 89 out of pure spite. No, I'll consider it. We'll see. Uh so I mean, we got Allen, Tony, and Tolbert. I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, didn't really do any signings on the wide receivers. Again, no signings at running back. No signings there. Throckmorton came off the practice squad. My girls walked in and said, I love the name Throckmorton. Everyone clowner, please. <laughs> uh, I brought in Nick Gates. 
Solid, solid center. I have really nothing. Thank you for taking Tony. You're very welcome, Shay. Although I don't think I don't think the AFC would agree with you. <laughs> I think they're upset at that. I did win the Connor McGovern sweepstakes. This is going to be potentially Filer's heir apparent. He's going to be my swing guard slash swing tackle this year, which he played for the Cowboys. I'm happy about it. We're getting younger and cheaper. I do. If I can put Connor McGovern at fullback, it will happen. I will find a way. Uh, nothing there. I brought in Skull again. Has run a lot of this kind of uh, agile zone scheme that I would be bringing him in for. So solid depth backup. Uh, no additions here. I brought in Nixon on a three-year contract. Gave him the max amount of years I could on a on a no <laughs> no bonus deal. I somehow I don't know why he took it. It was like a 16-point deal, but he took it. So. I guess I upgraded from these two guys below him. I don't know. Venture Miller was a trade. Won't talk about it. Uh, nothing really happened at corner. And then the my biggest signing was Marquise Blair. <laughs> I, I, the, the, this is now my new free safety going from Devin McCourty. I fully expect he'll play better, but it is a little laughable going from an 84 down to a 72. Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll give myself a He's probably about winning culture. Yeah, going from one winning culture to another. Just like Aaron Jones. Yes, absolutely. All right. Uh, I'm not going to give myself a grade. That feels pretentious. But I, I'll show you guys what I did. Yeah, F minus. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, I'm so upset Twitch can't hear you. We'll move on, Chiefs. <laughs> Uh, Mahomes, I, I won't speak on that. Let's move on. Edward Dallaire was claimed on his fifth-year option. No additions to the wide receiver room. That hurts. Yeah, I'm looking around to see if he did any. Did he not? Oh, D-tackle is a gaping hole. Holy. That's rough. Uh, Clark is still there. Still got Chris Rump. Linebackers are still all god tier somehow. Still got Fowler. Uh, I'm not looking at trades right now. Corners. Yeah, I, I've got nothing to say. He he didn't do anything to help nor hinder his team. Twitch not letting you have Xbox Party already. That and the screwed up all my settings. I, I had to go through and correct a lot of stuff. I don't know what they did in the last two days, but Havoc isn't home. It, it makes sense. I'll just give him a C and move on. He didn't help nor hinder his team, so you always get average. Colts starting Jacob Eason. That's uneventful. You won't trade the back of linebackers? Eh. Oh, oh, the DAC trade hasn't gone through yet. Okay, here we go. I won't consider that, again, I won't talk about that as a free agent, but that that is an extremely helpful trade. That's good. I'm, I don't know why he's not there yet. Have they just not... <laughs> have neither of them been home to send or accept it? Hmm. It's weird. Regardless, so DAC Prescott's there. That's awesome. Uh, running back room, still quite quite loaded. This I'd consider just getting rid of. But no additions that hurt him. I'll actually like the J.J. Taylor bringing in. I'd actually substitute those two. Receivers, anyone brought in? Ooh, Westbrook. I don't mind bringing in Westbrook. That's a long deal, though. I'm skeptical on this one. Like, that move individually, I'd give a, a C, purely because as much as you need depth, that's a decent amount of money to sink into a guy that if he doesn't work out after year one, that hurt. Yeah, that hurts you long term. That's enough money to hurt. Especially uh, when you're paying Dak's contract for, was it two more years? Yeah, that that's going to hurt. Tight end. I don't like that either. Ricky Seals-Jones. 
I the, both these guys are far better. I mean, as tight end three, it's not that big a deal. But again, that's a lot of money paid. Oh yeah, he did trade for Steven Anderson. R interesting. Interesting. Uh, so he's got Partit Fair out there. Okay, he brought in Reader. That's that's not a bad backup. It's a lot to pay a backup, but I guess if you Absolutely not. No. No. I, I don't know what the value is. I doubt it's enough. <laughs> That's not enough, probably. We'll see. Rinser. Uh, man, this is uninspiring. Uninspiring moves on this line, but it's still a very solid group. Oh, this is interesting. This is this is interesting. So I'm guessing he's brought in him. I'm guessing this is for third downs. Someone with this kind of skill set. I'm fine with that. I mean, bringing in a you know kind of backup quote unquote that has a very specific role. I'm totally good with that. Uh, what is happening here though? Uh. I, I would just cut Taco Charlton, but there's no additions down here. I remember when Taco was picked in the first round. That was fun. What? That's a lot to pay Malik Jefferson. That's a lot. He traded for him? Interest. I don't think so. I'm looking... So no real additions. At, oh, there's an addition at linebacker. He brought back Adams. That's a... What's what's Adam's skill set for him? Like, what's his role? I'm guessing special teams mostly. I mean, that's fine to pay a special teamer if he's good for you. Yeah, absolutely, bring him back. Is Nelson supposed to be corner two here? Did how much did Nelson regress? Not too shabby, actually. So Nelson's your corner two, Dean's your corner one that you traded for, and Moore's your slot. Would have given. Josiah Scott, that much money though. Nor would I have given Ford that much money. I don't think he's getting a corner in the draft. He he spent money in free agency on corner, and a decent amount across a few players. I, I don't think I don't think drafting one is is in the cards for him. Still got Blackman. Uh, I wouldn't cut Kenny Moore. That's a good deal for what he does. I think I'm going to give this... I think this is a D. I think this is slightly below average. There's things I, I'm okay with, but... I'm, I'm okay with them. Like, that's... Uh, I don't see how much a lot of this helps. Maybe he'll prove me wrong. But I don't really see how much this helps. Ah, uh, shit. I'm I'm not I'm going to go off what they have right now. I'm I'm not looking at this. Matt Corral. So, does Corral star? Yeah, he's got star. So Matt Corral's now a starter. He's still got Zeke here, which I I mean, that's just hurt. It's just hurting his cap space is what it's doing. Like he's at a point where Zeke's cap penalty is not nearly as a, a problem. As it was in years past. And if you got superstar Kenneth Walker, I I'd, I'd move him. But that's not gonna affect his you know affect his team grade. Nothing really at receiver. This is extremely top heavy. Jarwin's got a one okay. So Jarwin's getting overpaid, but I think that was done by the actual Cowboys. He's got Jeremy Rucker at least. That's something. How much longer are you going to have Smith for? Like, he's got to be in the next... Well, maybe. You know what? Dwayne Brown's playing until he's 39, so... No left guard, right? Because Connor Williams and McGovern are gone now. Uh, Biede... Yeah, so there's a gaping hole at left guard. That has become a need now. But no real additions here. No real additions here either, but the group is still good. 
Interior is still a little soft. Interior is definitely soft. You've got three guys here who I all like to do pass rushing. That's about it. Darren Waller, 2024 first rounder for no, nowhere near enough. No, nowhere near. Nowhere near. Quinton Nelson is a special breed of player. Nowhere near. Like, we're talking young Zach Martin level of special. It's, that's not close. Isaac still starting on the outside. Cox in the middle. I know the Cowboys are doing this in real life. I think that's way too light. I'd rather Cox go play off ball. Yeah. <laughs> So he's got Diggs, Joseph. He's he's done literally no moves. He's done actually. He's actually done none. I, I love Mr. Boss Man Fat. If you guys didn't know, that is Kelvin Joseph's nickname from Kentucky. It's Mr. Boss Man Fat. And no punter and three kickers. He, yeah, they, I'm, I'll give it a C because he's technically done nothing. But uh, I, there there's a lot of things I'd, I'd hope he would do before our draft tomorrow. And probably things that would help him. Dolphins. Two would claim fifth year option. He brought back Brissett. Uh I mean that was last year, it's fine. Brissett's high enough overall, it's okay. No real additions. Yeah, no additions so far in the offense that I'm seeing. Everything is all still pretty good. He brought in Jason Kelsey, so I'm guessing a core year's. Oh, no, you probably keep a core there, there actually, in case of injury. To left, uh, yeah, I, I'd say that's a good move. Howard Hunt. I I think you can absolutely still get better on the interior, but it's this is a much much bigger improvement, especially getting Titus Howard here too. This is a, this is a massive improvement than where you were at two seasons ago. So he's moving to four three. I do I do remember he asked me to move those moves. He's got a boy B to be kind of a big body edge. Phillips. No additions here, but the group is still pretty solid. Neil's playing off ball. That's a smart move. Baker in the middle. So no real no real additions on defense. Just kind of claimed fifth-year options and moved on. I'm totally fine with that in his case. He did bring back... Uh, brought in Jaquan Johnson. That's interesting. Uh, that's a pretty neutral move to me. I don't really feel any way either way about it. No, not really. Maybe, I mean, cheap, cheaper, I guess. But that's about it. At... I probably have uh, Holland play up there. I'd, I'd rather have Holland at free. I love Holland at free safety. Let's look at Ty's moves because, boy, did he did he spend all of the money. And I mean all of the money. <laughs> uh, running back room, not changed. Right, just some guys from practice squad and the guys he had last year, no change. Receivers, still good. Still very good depth as well. Uh, bringing O.J. Howard to pair, pair with Dallas Goddard. O.J. is the eternal tight end two in this league. He can never get a starting role. He can never get a starting role. Yeah, it was a three-year deal. I, I fully expect him to be actually utilized, though. I think this is a solid move, especially since he's paying him, I mean, was it 7.3 on average? It's not that much. I mean, when you have the cap space he's got... Yeah. Hey, when you got Jalen Hurts, you can absolutely do it. <clears throat> He's got Mylotta. This is just unfortunate because this was done by the Real Life Eagles and Mylotta just... He's only got so much he can really develop in that time. Because uh, EA doesn't reward linemen enough for actually good play. So, nothing you can really do about that. Uh, Brandon Brooks retiring sucks. <laughs> that was... Uh, unexpected by him so guard has now also become a need but he did just trade for Kevin Zeitler 
So that that need has been filled. So it's really just center now. He's got to figure out. Uh, so he's got some guys like maybe he moves Dickerson back to center and drafts a guard because the guard class is actually like first round talented, according to Madden. So we'll see. He gets a Super Bowl incoming. Uh, I mean, he's definitely making a push for it. He's trying. Brought in Chris Wormley. Got Fletcher Cox and Milton Williams to kind of rotate in. Jones is still the nose here. And there, there's the first of the big boys. Uh, Vaughn Miller on a two-year $40 million deal. Over half guaranteed. Uh, Yeah, that's scary. <laughs> Middle linebackers, still the same group. No change here. Uh, right edge, no change. Just kind of move some guys around. And there's the other one who's going to be pairing up with Sauce Gardner on the outside. Uh, yet another $40 million contract with over half guarantee to Stephon Gilmore. If you uh, want to know whether the Eagles are in win-now mode or rebuilding, that should tell you your answer. Because, man, they're they're paying for it. They have a lot of contracts that are going to be alleviated next year, which is really well-timed with Hertz's contract. Like, a lot of these contracts he had to pay are going to be off books next season. This is... I mean... He's only really got one need. Right? Like, if you're comfortable with Hertz, you only got one need. This is probably an A, right? I don't know. Strong safety? Maybe. He did bring back uh, Pola Mao. So there is absolutely a use there for bringing in Pola Mao. And here we go. You guys can't hear it, but Grim's talking about speed again. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how Ty uses them. I'm I'm okay actually moving it down to an A minus just just in case certain things don't work out in the draft. Uh, f yeah. I mean that's one pick though. Falcons. They got Caden Slovis as their starter. That's interesting. He's a high enough overall to be, I, I guess, potentially worrisome. But I, I don't know. I would imagine quarterbacks early, yes. Still got Brees Hall. Oh, there was a signing there. Rashad Penny. He must be watching my Falcons franchise because that is exactly what I did. He look yeah, he looks nice. He's always nasty, mate. Always nasty. I'm alright with that. I like that. I look and your Grim's talking about speed again. <laughs> God, I fuck Twitch <laughs> Just angers me every time. Pitts, Ebra uh, ooh. Well that's unfortunate. That must have been the AI, right? Looking at the actual value of the deal. That's probably the AI. That sucks. Uh, Jamarco Jones. I mean, it's better than Jalen Mayfield. It's, it's improvement. He's kind of given a bad hand there. Lindstrom's still on his. I mean, he did what he could to fix the offensive line. He got someone better. He did what he could. Marlon Davidson's finally getting a start, guys. Holy shit. Nose tackle. Ooh, Tristan Hill, hey? I'm not the biggest fan. I'm not the biggest fan. I don't really like Tristan Hill, but I think maybe. Yeah, I think maybe. I'm all right with that. Uh, no more signings on edge there. No real signings to linebacker. Here we go. Van Ginkle. Three-year deal. This is nice. If he's running that hybrid, this is nice. Like, if this is a hybrid scheme he wants to run now, this is exciting. Because Van Ginkle's going to slide in really nicely. Corner. Uh, nothing really added. He did add... Is that Noah Daniels? Ah. So this is, must be a special teamer kind of pick. And Tony... <laughs> 
And then he signed Amani Hooker as his now starting strong safety. He doesn't look too bad, honestly. Yeah, Amani Hooker, I'm fine with that. This this is probably a C plus to B minus again. Like all, eh, you know, I'll give him I'll give him a B minus actually because the bank ankle move if that is hybrid. That's nice. That helps. Shay's team brought in Tyrod Taylor to be a backup over Jamie Newman. Shay, do you not believe in the Newman? Please inform me. Do you not love Jamie Newman like everyone else did? Jamie season. He's wearing number seven and everything. Leonard Fournette. I'm good with this. Yeah. Let, bring in playoff Lenny. Got Cle uh, Calais says you're kind of change of pace. Scat back. Yeah, I'm good with this. That's good. Scat back. He brought in. This must have been from the practice squad. Seth Williams. As your kind of wide receiver five. I'm good with that. Yeah, that's. See, that's actually worth what Seth Williams overall and ability is. That's actually worth it. Not what they always give, like. These five foot ten, you know, sixty five overall receivers. No additions there. <laughs> Pardon me. Schweitzer brought back. I'm good with that. It helps fix the offensive line. No moves here. I imagine one of these guys gets moved over to the other side. Oh, this is. Oh, Shay. Oh, Shay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna roast you, buddy. He's gonna play about four games for you. <laughs> it's not a bad deal, like you didn't heavily invest into him, but he's probably gonna play about four games. Like, I'll be honest, that's about how many games he's played for me in two seasons. He's played about four games. So I mean maybe. Maybe he makes it makes it longer. Maybe he makes it <laughs> maybe he makes it longer. But uh I would not hold out hope. I I would I would hope for backups. <laughs> Oh, you brought in Jerry Tillery. I mean, maybe he can not hurt himself week one for you and regress like he did for me. That's an okay contract. You're not overly paying him, and you got money. That, that's that's fine. Mm, you brought in Malik. I like this. I actually do like this a lot. I like this move. Malik Collins on a one-year deal, four mil. I love that move. Him and Tim Settle can rotate and kill some shit. <clears throat> Let's take a look. He brought in. I'm imagining Ford's gonna move down to the edge rusher. So, I mean that's all right, honestly. You're paying less than four mil. Yeah, that's that's more than serviceable for what you're paying for. It. Don't talk about offsides, Grim. Don't talk about offsides. <laughs> and I imagine you got Blake here who's gonna play the left outside. That's fine. <laughs> Grim almost vomited at that idea. Uh, I'm just looking. Yeah, no, you definitely had Blake play left side and then Davis take the middle, but that's fine. I mean, all these contracts while you have Jordan Love cheap is fine. You can throw these at veterans if you're just unsure. Like, that's totally okay to do. You got guys you're developing here. I would say so. I wouldn't say corner. I'm actually looking at Joey Porter here. Yeah, this is this is nice. I I I would just go linebacker, especially if St. Juice is your corner four. Yeah, I'm I'm all right. Oh my god, and you have Sheridan Jones. Yeah, no corners. Shea corner is not your issue. Yeah, it's Troy Apke down here. Yeah, it it is not the corner is not your issue. Linebacker is absolutely your issue. You got you got Jordan Davis and you got a bunch of role players. I would definitely agree. You got Cameron Curl in one more year. Dark Force still got Matthew Plum. Yeah, no, I linebacker is absolutely the the move. I like this. Um, this is probably just a very solid B. I I think it's above average. Some moves are all the moves are good. They help. Hoping they develop. Oh, they will. I mean, look how high they already are. Niners, let's look at Marcus's team. This is Mr. TFG. Uh, okay, so he I know he was cap-strung because he did a bunch of re-signing. 
Has he done any signings? Has he lost out for every guy he's tried to battle for? Oh, that would hurt. So yeah, Banks is not having to play center. Well, I know he was trying. I've seen him try. Hurst. Givens. Man, depth is hurting across this team. Like, he needs another edge player desperately. He probably needs a receiver. He's, he got Anthony Barr. I... Uh... Maybe? Yeah, for like me, like it's okay. It's not cheap though. That's the thing. You need cheaper than that. When you're this cap strapped, you need cheaper than that. Not including rookie reserve. And, he's, and he has no right edge. So I imagine Bose is playing there, but to, to have only two, he's only got two edge players on his entire roster. Yeah, edge is a need. And corner is really thin. He went and signed. He was already a 3-4. Yeah, he was already playing 3-4. It's 3-3-5 actually is what he's playing. So he brought in Jeff Smith on a decent contract. Brian Poole is the strong safety. Uh, I, I imagine that's probably what happens. I imagine more actually plays like naturally at strong safety and then pool comes out for three safety rules. I don't know. It's a bit of a, I'll just give it a C and move on. Like, I don't see like, yeah, he's got, he's got no punter. Oh no, he did. He found Cole. He signed Cole at least, but yeah, no kicker. He's, he's going to have to make some magic happen in this draft class or like start trading some sevens or stuff like that. Like this is this is a need. Giants. Okay, let's take a look. Still running with Robinson Jr. Star player. I know he broke out. Receivers. I mean, he traded for all of these guys. These guys are all vets. He's got one more good push in him. Still got David Bell. He resigned Jakeem Grant. Oh, Jakeem is actually still a pretty good athlete. Yeah, here's your return specialist. All right, I'm all right with that deal then. Yeah, I'm good with that. Don't, no, we're not allowing him to move running back. Screw that. No, I'm not allowing that. I don't think he does. I don't think he's heavy enough. Zach Davidson, by the way. I want. I just want everyone to know that he has turned Zach Davidson into an X Factor. He just has willed it. We now have... Zach Davidson, X Factor. He's literally, he's literally. That's interesting. Nick Martin, I'm good with that. I, I like I like bringing Nick Martin. You could do a hell of a lot worse. He he's definitely not very strong. Well, he's not very strong. He's not a tree. My biggest concern with looking at the, he he brought in Udo. Udo's a much thicker... Like, this is a guy much better suited to power running as Udo. But, yeah, I'm a little, I'd be a little worried about running a lot of zone runs with... Yeah, Stromberg is, is getting it together. I think that's nice. That helps. He brought in Marvin Wilson. How much... How, sorry, how much did he pay him again? 1.8? Okay, this is a solid contract. Yeah, that's a solid contract. I like that. I'm good with that. Y you hate it. So he's got Zadarius. He's got Ojolari, Smith. Like heavy edge rush rooms. He loves Cam Brown on this side. He really loves Cam Brown. So he signed Ruben Foster to a two-year deal. I don't know if Ruben will see year two. Linebacker. Interior linebackers become a need. Corner, still a pretty strong room. No additions made. Safeties, still a very... Oh, he brought in Donovan Wilson. Oh, I like this. <laughs> yeah, that's a... For this uh, defense that they run, I like this. Davidson's the bane of your existence, I imagine. At 6-7. Put Wilson up there, yeah, with McKinney. Yeah, that's nice. This is this is probably a B to B plus. The only real issue is some of the line is a, 
Yeah, some of the lines are a little weak in certain spots. But, uh, yeah, and that linebacker needs to be addressed. Jaguars, did they do any moves? They signed Nick Bodden. They signed Brandon Cooks. Okay. So then Chenault, then you also signed, wow, he spent money. He, yeah, that hurts not having Drake London touch the field. Man, he has spent money, money on these guys who get deep. I mean, you got Lawrence on a cheap deal. Right? And then you, so here's the thing. All these guys all line up perfectly with Lawrence's deal once you claim his fifth-year option. So it doesn't hurt his ability to retain Lawrence long-term. I'm looking at O-line. Yeah, this is going to be negated because this should be Geno's. So he's not going to have Rodney Hudson. He brought in Makari. Makari's played center as well. And he brought in Billy Turner. Yeah, Walker Lill should get a start. So, yeah, once you get past the left side of this line, this line becomes much, much worse very quickly. Colby Wooden. He kind of developed here. That's not bad. Roy Robertson Harris. No signing. Yeah, no signings at the... Besides Josh Allen, who he brought back, there's been no signings at guys getting after the passer. Still nothing at linebacker either to help out Jack. Nothing at corner. He's still running four corners. Ah, damn. I'm, I'm, I'll give it a C minus. He's done okay moves in some spots, but not addressing some serious problems he's had is a little concerning. Jets, Gino. Uh, still has four quarterbacks on roster. <laughs> uh, I know he traded for Mike Evans, so... I don't know if that's been approved yet, though, actually. That's true. That's not, that's not been approved. So, yeah, it, it helps this team a lot more. It makes it much more interesting to look at. <clears throat> yep, yeah, definitely receivers in need. Looking at tight end, it's a little soft. Once you get past Fant, like, these guys are all very light, like, not very good blockers. He's got Penning and Becton, Vera Tucker, Hayes. Uh, so that's going to be Rodney Hudson. So I'll have he should still be there. Still paying that Connor Williams deal, and he he doesn't have a right tackle. He does not have a right tackle. I mean, yeah, he he's he's got enough. He's got enough stuff that he can kind of just sit there and tell people what he's drafting, and they can't really do anything about it. Got Chubb. So he hasn't really done too many signings. He's really kind of just sat there. Uh, I know he got approved for this Mosley release. So Blake Cashman starts. Yeah, no moves have been done. Yeah, I guess he's not very interested in the free agents. So see and move on. Lions, Super Bowl winners. Uh, tons of moves made. Or at least they should. Look in. Nothing changed really on the offense too much. He d definitely wanted to keep that group together. So look in. He brought in Tart. I like bringing in Tart. That's not bad. A little bit expensive, but he's got the money for it. Yeah, he did trade for Clowney. Barnes. A uh, linebacker is still a, a need. I think late for him, I would still consider it. He still has the Aquara brothers. I'm looking around. Yeah, so not too many moves done besides kind of tagging Amos. Mike Williams can't stand the Lions. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I mean, again, I'll give a C just because he hasn't really done much. He's done more, more trades moves, and this team's it's basically the same. Maybe C+, plus just because it's still a Super Bowl contender. He's kept it out that way. Packers. 
Double F minus, yep, absolutely. That's what I'm thinking. Not too many big moves. Team is definitely developed, which is the biggest thing. They had to get really young really quickly. Juwan James is definitely going to be a better tackle than Billy Turner would probably be this season. So I'm okay with that. Kaminsky, you want me to talk about Michael Dieter, the center? I mean, he's good depth for on a good contract. Like I'm not, I'm not going to talk too much. I like the Kaminsky grab, though. I like this move. Yeah, I'm, I'm all about this one. This this is a better Dean Lowry. <laughs> Literally better Dean Lowry. Kiki still kicking it. Still same group it knows. You signed David Long. I like that contract. And I like that he's pairing up with McDuffie and Barnes. Uh, yes, I do know that echo. There's actually nothing we can do about it. That's on Twitch's end, unfortunately. Yeah, it's... I, I don't know what they did. In the last two days, they have messed with all my settings, and this ability to have the party chat work is not working currently. It's a little concerning. But uh, I'll see if I'll tamper it a little more tonight. I'm going to do another mock. I don't know if I'll do it tonight or tomorrow morning. We'll figure out how long this takes. But it, it's it's a little worrying. Looking at corner, I like bringing back Casey Hayward. I like it. You still got McCreary to play, man. You still got Jones as well. Yeah, bring back the vet. You got an Epps as a safety five. Well, I can't consider that until he's actually there. As they, I, 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 there, people, these, like, man's AI accepts contracts in the weirdest of ways. I, until I actually see them here, I'm not going to consider them here. Or, or I know their trade has been done. So, uh, Packers probably, I mean, those aren't really too many holes, honestly. This probably gets a B. No, I think this is a B. Like, money was well spent, nothing really overpaid. Yeah. I do love my kickers. Rodrigo Blankenship is one of the best ones. Go get him a Lego set. He'll be extremely happy. Panthers. Yes, he did trade Aaron Jones to me. Uh, Panthers. Shy Smith, that's from the practice squad. DJ Moore was tagged. Demis, I would imagine so, yeah. Yeah, team's constructed quite well. This this interior line, it's the same thing I was talking about when I was talking about mock drafts for them. Th this interior line, and he knows it too, it, it's his bane. Even his right tackle spot as well. It's it's going to be the bane of his team until he gets some quality guys. So I would fully expect him to invest into that very quickly. Round Roy. He brought in Drew Tranquil. Uh, that's expensive. I mean, if you're willing to pay it, maybe he'll play well for you. I uh, I willed him to, to Superstar twice. Hopefully he actually plays like one for you. But that is absolutely an upgrade. Like, I, I think we can safely say... We can safely say that's an upgrade. Fontes... <laughs> I imagine so as well. It is funny to see Vontez Perfect still somehow in the game. And then Shock Thompson absolutely takes the middle. Javin White's kind of your rotational guy. Yep, I like I like fixing that. This is still a really deep corner group, even with Gilmore gone. Like this is just talent down the board still. Kazee's okay at free safety. You're not hurting yourself having him there really. No kicker and no punter. A little worrisome, but you got money to fix it, so I, I won't harp on it, really. Vontez. Yeah, that's why Antonio Brown retired in our league. He heard Vontez Burfish was still hanging around somewhere. Called it quits. Uh, this is another B. Like, that that old line, it sucks he missed out on, on bidding for guys. Maybe he can grab a couple guys late here and then draft well. But it, it might end up being the bane of this team again. Patriots. 
bring in Chris Carson. Uh, if you're just kind of waiting for Stevenson to take over, then I'm okay with this more. I, I'm a little curious why why not Damian Harris. A little curious at that. But if the idea is we want Chris Carson one year, one more year with Stevenson developing and then Stevenson takes over, then I understand. But it still fulfills a need. Yeah, yeah, he does. But he fulfills a need. I, I'm good with that. Uh, Scotty Miller, yeah, that's that's absolutely a good move here. Another another weapon, and finally something to really get deep with. Yeah, definitely variety. He's got he's got a tool for every situation. I I like the idea. I know he's trying to trade Johnu because Johnu's not really getting much time here. He's still got the other two tight ends that were drafted, and of course Hunter Henry. Win, still kicking it. I don't know if there's any signings done here. No real signings. He seems like he's, he's played this very smart with his money so far. Still has Matt Jude on. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we hear a release for him in the next season. We'll see. Was signed Cole Holcomb. This absolutely feels like another Patriot player. Like, not high, not high-end talent, but always plays very well. Kind of knows his assignment. That's kind of how I describe Holcomb in real life. He's got Superstar, so that helps. Yeah, I like the move. Especially with uh, Hightower and Bentley kind of on their way out. You know, you can afford to rotate those guys currently. Winovich was brought back. I'm good. That's a that's a decent deal for Winovich. Paying him like 8.6 and a half. Yeah, I I honestly I have no problems with with the money spent on this team. Kicker is a need, but I have no problems with money spent on this team. I think this is I'm trying to think if this is gonna be a B plus or or like an A minus. Not too much money was spent. Ah, uh, you know what? No, I'll give it the A minus, honestly. A lot of a lot of the bad contracts here are gonna be rotated out. Raiders Let's see what moves have happened. Uh, Henry Ruggs was claimed, obviously. Traquan Smith. Uh, I do believe quarterback's coming to draft. Uh, Traquan doesn't look too bad. How much he's paying for? Okay, that's not awful. Honestly, that's not bad. Is he a good blocker, too? He is a good blocker. Yes. Yeah, I like that. This one I like, I like less. Why is Terrell Williams still here? I feel like Terrell Williams is just an older form of Smith for you at this point. But, I mean, if you, if it's more like a, hey, I need to fill out depth, I mean, maybe. It's okay, but that one's a little more questionable to me. Uh, Waller, Sonner, yeah, you got a bunch of kind of lower-end guys. Tight end might be something to consider for a depth purpose. Still got Armstead. Ben Jones still kicking around. Signed Ben Powers. Leatherwood's already gone. Yeah, definitely trying to fix the interior is a smart idea, especially getting someone like Powers who actually runs this power scheme very well. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with the moves on the O-line. Uh, looking at the defensive line. Yeah, some, some guys are needed here. Like It sucks you had to pay, you know, pay up for Godshaw for one year, but... Getting him and Danny Shelton to play nose is a smart idea. Crosby's still kicking around. Okay, linebacker depth is needed. Yeah, really, I like what he's done with the pass rush, but the poor Divine Diablo is all by his lonesome. You're going to bring in Tyrell Williams, but Seth Williams filled the role. Yeah, I think that's probably better for you, honestly. But... I, I, he he needs someone to be the more typical thumper here, I believe. Especially with Divine being kind of your primary middle linebacker. I'd say that's a need. They all got outbitted? Yeah, that sucks. Well, I mean, I would say, honestly, we'll draft linebacker, but 
I did mention that it's a little rough. Some of these guys are deceptive. Poyer, I imagine Poyer. Poyer's a safety four here. Yeah, that's okay. He still has talent. Yeah, you're gonna have to try to hit on a linebacker at some point during this draft, unfortunately. Uh oh. Second round, maybe. Maybe a second round. Yeah, you spend spend the quarterback on the first, grab him the second. I'd probably say so. Uh rating. Trying to think. Yeah, I mean this is probably a probably a B. I think if I want to give this a B. No, I'll go B minus. I'll go slightly, slightly below. But all, all these moves do definitely help him. I don't think they hinder him in any way. Rams. So Brock Purdy's the man now. <laughs> Brock Purdy. He looks like an Adonis. <laughs> uh. Is he? Let me, let's take a look at Brock Purdy. Let's take a shabby look. <laughs> uh. If you're wondering how much he paid God, uh, Godcho Tai, he paid like 5.5, 5, roughly. Fleet Bay Franks? Yeah, big cannon R. Yeah, right. Unfortunately, he's trying. I know he's trying to offload a lot of these these contracts since he's kind of in a rebuild now. But it looks like he's gonna have to endure. How is Whitworth still here at forty one? I'm amazed. No, literally, because Madden always freaking retires him, like always in my first season. The fact that he is here is incredible. I've never seen him get to forty one. Yeah, yeah, I like the line. I like the line a lot. Donald still kicking around. Da, 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 da. Nothing. Yeah, no real big moves so far. Nothing that hurts him. There's the big move I did know about was Byron Murphy. And then Rocky Sin brought his rotational. That is great. The Rocky Sin moves a little, I guess, a little questionable with Lenoir and Bro uh, Borders, Mullen. I'm okay with it. It's not overly expensive, especially if Purdy is your guy. Murphy helps a lot if you're really gonna try to run a no-fly zone. Fuller is still kicking around. Rap has played well for him, and that's a decent deal. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Yeah, probably a B. He hits like a truck. My my poor receiver knows that. I think I think it was Keenan Allen down the field got fucking obliterated. Just killed him. Ravens. Uh this is rough. <laughs> Just looking at cap space to cap penalty. Oh boy. That that hurts. He's So he got his third down back in Cordell Patterson. It's a little expensive, but He signed Kiki Kuti for a three-year deal. It's okay. Yeah, you know what? For 1.1, for, for 1.4, especially if you think you're going to lose Duvernay next year, I'm okay with it. Looking around. So he brought in, okay, this I don't like. He brought in Jack Doyle. I'm I'm not as jazzed about that. Yeah, not not as not as jazzed about that move. That's still normal, that's still normal, that's still normal. Yeah, no change there. Marshall's been developing for him actually. That's not too It gets in. There we go. Gotta love when your 
mid vid and the controller says, Yep, you know what, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, Larry. He brought in JJ what I did not know how much that contract was though. Okay. Um and Alton Robinson. Or not Alton, pardon me. Um Aishon. That's a big boy, Aishon. That's a lot of money. Yeah. Lots of investment. He he must have really not liked Moss running all over him. He must have really not enjoyed that. I I can I can confirm most people do not enjoy that. That's a oh, okay. I can see. I can see why you grabbed this guy. A little pricey for 3.4, but I can see why. Oh, wait, about that's normal. Henry Oh, that's a bit to pay Henry to Oto. I would not have I would not have paid Henry to Oto that much. It's not it's not a big knock. I would not have considering I got Davian Nixon for under a mil for 3 years. I'm a little iffy on that. I I don't think you had to it, It's to Oto. -to He brought in Justin Hollins as well. Not a bad athlete. Like he's developed well on the Rams as well, coming off of it. Yeah, that's honestly not bad. Corner. Yep, yeah, corner's good. The team is still strong. P his his defense is still really good. This looks like your typical, very, very typical Ravens, Ravens defense. All right, I forgot he traded for Austin Jackson. Hopefully, he can revitalize that career. I am a fraud. Uh, I don't. I'll give this a C plus. It's like average to so slightly above average, I think. A lot of money was invested, so this is, especially with that Lamar contract, you know, it's, it's going to start hitting pretty quickly here. This is the lowest it's going to be. I mean, this is basically all or, all or nothing with the current group you got. That's what you got. It's the, it's the current group. It's all or nothing. And then you're going to have to start get, letting guys walk. Saints, bringing Stafford, I, I love this. This this absolutely was the move. Like you go crazy with Willis, eh? Honestly, I'd consider. I mean, I I think I've mentioned it before. I actually did develop a three quarterback pl uh, offense with the Saints a couple of years ago. I actually did develop one, and it worked quite well. <laughs> I sicken you. <laughs> It's possible, but I, I I really like the idea of getting a, a veteran to, to take most of the reins, at least early in the season. I think that should have happened sooner. Still a very similar running back group. You brought in Tyson Williams. I'm happy about that. Get someone who's a little bit more downhill. I mean... Uh... Yeah, I like Tyson more for that, but that's just my preference. Hey, uh, wide receiver? Rashad Perriman was brought in. You know what? I'm. It's not too much of an expense for Perriman now that you have all this cap space. I'm okay bringing someone who was on a Super Bowl winning team to try to help out your receiver group. I'm okay with that. I have no problems. Sample, I imagine. So sample and Troutman's interesting. I should stream Smite with Grim. Oh, oh boy! You want to see some titty physics with Neath? <laughs> Because <laughs> that's what—that's basically what my character does. She pounces up and down all the time. So they just titty physics. Grim, have you ever played Smite? 
You've not played Smite? Oh, this will go fantastic. I haven't played Smite in about six years. Uh, comparing it to League is, I mean, it's probably about as close as we're going to get, honestly. Kind of like a MOBA. Not, not, not entirely. Anyways, moving on. Charles Cross. This Pete contract sucks. Earl Swift? Yeah, I would if he could, but that, that's a thick contract. He doesn't even have to cut requests him. He's under 75 in his last kind of two years. I think, yeah, he he could just cut him if he wanted to. <clears throat> Smite is just a long way to waste time, especially in ranked games. Do you speak from experience, Ty? <laughs> Do you speak from experience? <laughs> I like the line, honestly. Once Pete's gone, I like the line. And I like having Hearst as kind of your backup there. Your roommate plays it all the time. Well, there you go. Peyton Turner still developing here. Davenport's already shown his medal. Oh man, if we could, if, if he just got Perry on going, dude, I love me some Perry on Winfrey. I love me Perry on. Yeah, in real life too, I'd be so happy. I love Perry on. So you got Bond and Warner. You got Brandon Smith. Ah, uh, this contract sucks. He's not lower than 75. Still superstar, but I imagine this is his last ride. Just ride it out. Yeah, so just ride it out. It's his last year. Let him retire. Uh, that's a little... I mean, Moro probably s stays on this side. Yeah, this one's a little interesting. I'm not sure what his role here is. Yeah, I'm a little curious on this one. This one, this one's a little questionable. I'll be curious to see how he actually manages this. I, I, my cat is coming to join me. Hello, Luke. What are you doing? You just drooled all over the table. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Corner. Lattimore, Adibo, Booth, Rhodes. Rhodes, I'm okay with a one year. He's got money now. Jeffries, yeah, that's a good corner room. Williams. I don't... Here's the one thing I don't... I don't like Gardner Johnson starting at safety. I think it's a waste. I'd much rather. I think it's a waste seeing him start there. But that's that's just personal preference. He can do what he wants. This is, this is cheap as well. He paid him freaking nothing. So I'll I'll give this a B. This is good. He, he's done moves that help him long term. But there's a couple things I'm a little questionable on. We'll see how he does first. Uh, Seahawks are next. This is Russ's last year on contract. So here, here's the question: Why Tony Pollard on a one year? I like when I was looking at Pollard, I was considering a, like a two, three year deal. Why, why on one year, Clovis? Oh, you want? Yeah, I mean he's twenty six. You can test him out. That's honestly fair. Yeah, fair enough. You can always draft. I honestly think that's possible. I honestly do. I think it's possible he even slips out of the first round if people want to fill out positions. I'm a li I'm saying you. I think you definitely overpaid Pierce. I know he's star, but my lord, that's that that's pricey. Five over five mil a season. That's pricey. Yeah. Did you, did you not even know you paid that? That's pricey. He's part of future plans? I should hope so if you're paying him that. So Parm and Everett still here. No change. Dwayne Brown, the, just an ageless wonder again. Still kicking at a 78 somehow. Pew's good depth. I like that. Center's still a bit of a, a worry. Flowers, I yeah, that's better than that's better when Gabe Jackson three years in is gonna give you. Moses is back. Okay, so you kept you kept a lot of the same crew with slight changes on the interior. Not too bad. Alton Robinson's broken out. 
Shaq Lawson's still pretty good for what you're paying him. You love Hainsey? Yeah, I think Hainsey's not bad. I'm okay with that. That Puna contract's big, but, I mean, it's a rare commodity at this point. Not made too many high overall interior. And this frickin' Taven Bryan. <laughs> I can't... <laughs> I can't believe Taven Bryan and... And Payne were both, like, just competing for sack leaders all season. I can't... What a weird season we had for sacks. What a weird season. There's Edmonds. He's great. Brooks, I still love on the interior. Kervin's totally good as that kind of third safety that plays... You know, only that passing down or comes out on three linebacker sets. I'm totally good with that. Didn't pay him too much either, which is good. Wayne's Brown. Yep, I I like the corner room. I like their corner room a lot. It's a lot of, how do I say, bend or break type of corner room. You'll give up a lot of stuff underneath, but you won't give up anything over top. Reed, of course, I mean, there, that's further emphasize you're not giving up something over the top. And then Jamal Adams to come come play that sideline or box safety role. Yeah, that's nice. I do like bringing back Neil as well. Yeah, this is a solid B. I, I see exactly kind of what you're what you're doing. Westry's going to get Burke, <laughs> Burke's footprint on his chest. Uh, let's see. We'll see. I mean, you guys play next season. Here's probably the biggest contract of this offseason. Uh, Baker Mayfield has decided to sign with the Pittsburgh Steelers. That's big. They they give up on Ritter after uh, after his last year, and they say, let's just go get someone who's already established, and they go get Baker Mayfield. Running back room's the same. Wide receiver room, no changes. Not too many changes on the offensive line either. Although he won the Jawan Taylor sweepstakes, the new young tackle here getting paid uh, about 8.2 per year would have been the average if it's all equal. No, it's not too bad actually. I, I thought it was much higher than, than that, but... Oh. The bar does always make it look super high. Javon Hargrave still kicking around on a good deal. Hayward's still doing well. Yeah, I, I mean, the team is still constructed fairly well. Maybe a bigger linebacker to help out Bush would be useful. Looking at corner. Not too many signings have been done here. But the signings he did do are are basically necessities. I think the, the Baker Mayfield help is worth a B alone. I'll, I'll give it a B. Last couple of, Oh, I went out too far. Last couple teams have done kind of uh, quite well. They kept their guys going, and they were able to get good de uh, depth pieces coming in, as well as good replacement level talent. So Texans don't have a quarterback. This has to be a quarterback in this draft. I'd be shocked if it's not. I'd be shocked if they're on Davis Mills, but it's possible. This running back room is interesting. Paying three guys all decent contracts at the same time. It, it it's a choice. It's a choice. It's a lifestyle. Yep. Uh, looking at, I mean, he's got so many receivers on rookie contracts. Like these two are cut down here. He's so good when it comes to receivers. Just don't talk about Skronik. He went grab Boyle. I mean, this is this is better Jack Doyle. <laughs> it's just really just better Jack Doyle. So, ho ho hopefully it helps with the, the running game. He's got Hollister and Brevin. I would imagine so. Look and see what other moves he did. He grabbed Derek Wolf. Interesting. Not sure what the thought process is there. Take a look. Take a look. He needs linebacker help too. Jalen Ferguson is still playing behind Cunningham. He should be on the line. He should get him at right end. Like, just, so he actually rushes the passer for him. 
Man, he needs he needs corner depth late in this draft. He needs a linebacker early, and he needs a quarterback early. Like when when he gets to like round three and four, he I mean he signed heavy at safety here. He paid the money. Yeah, I I I don't know if he's listening or have seen. You see, overpaying Baker is a good thing. He paid him what he had to. That's what he had to pay. I mean, this corner room needs help later in this draft. I'd say, I don't even know if I'd say round three, but definitely around that point, basically your draft board should just look like straight corners down the board, whoever you like. 35 mil? Yeah, it's okay. It's expensive. Uh, I mean, he was one of the younger of the good quarterbacks there. It's fine. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can't say yeah, because uh, he definitely wasn't good for me last year. Holy shit. No, I I think I'm just cursed that no matter what quarterback I have, they're always going to play at their 68 overall. Like, at no, at no matter what overall they are, they'll find a ways to throw ducks. But th this linebacker group, I mean, he's got Cunningham, but, like, linebacker early necessity absolutely a necessity um i'll give this a c i think eh, yeah he's got cap space i'll give it a c there's moves here that i don't think help him and that he's made and moves he hasn't capitalized on but i mean maybe the draft fixes all that usually rarely does the draft ever fix everything all at once Looking at Titans, Tannehill's almost done. He's going to be probably calling it soon. I know he's he's about to hit a rebuild, and he knows it too. About to be the last dance, man. This receiver depth is crap. Holy wow. <laughs> Did you guys take a look at the Titans receiver depth? Holy. Yeah, that hurts. Not having Julio makes this work a lot worse. Uh, Maybe... Because, let me continue on. Alright, maybe. How about the flag ability? Yeah. Ferkser broke out, so I'm, I know that's done well. L like, Luan is good. Uh, Dickinson's trying. Center is uninspiring. Uh, like, I, I'd say, I, yeah, a, a guard or maybe a center is needed here. Dupree's regressing at a pretty hefty rate. Landry. I know he's trying to trade Landry. He went and got LJ Collier? Uh, I'm a, I'll be... I mean, maybe. Maybe. Maybe it works out. There is there is a chance. You're right. It's a, he was a... That's, that's my issue. I was about to say. He, he's a little squishy. But we'll see. Evans, Brown. Yeah, the linebacker group is good. Corner room. Yeah, would you not sign Oren Burks, baby? He he's he's lacking depth down the board. I know the uh, Christian Fulton. We have it one verse. Like the team is the team is good. Just looking at, I just kind of evaluate the team is good, but uh, he he's got work to do. He he needs to hit well in the draft. Uh, I'll give it a C, just because he hasn't really had any moves done. All right, Vikings, last team, and we can finally call it. I'm glad that we're gonna be done in under two hours instead of like the four something hours it took last time. Uh, Sam Howell, I believe, is getting the start now. So Mon's on the way out. Haskins, I imagine, remains backup. Running back, still a good room. This is interesting. He brought in Robbie Anderson. I'm actually okay with it. Yeah, it's not that bad a deal. It's 8 mil. 
could be a cut or, or a trade candidate, po very possible. Yeah, he does like all the BC Johnson a lot. And then Anderson's your kind of deep threat here. Yeah, I'm good, good with a lot of this. Good with a lot of that. I can see the reasoning. He brought in Tommy Hudson. What do people like about Tommy Hudson? Size? Maybe? Not sure on that one. Paying him 3.5 mil is a, a decent bit, but may, maybe there is a there is there is a big brain move that I am not aware of here with Tommy that I am ignorant to. Nothing really there. Nothing really. Okay, line still kind of just solid. Hunter last year, that's scary. That's going to get expensive. I'm good, actually. I like bringing in Terrell Bosham here. I actually like this. I like this a lot. I think, th think this is underrated. I think that's underrated a lot. As kind of a backup or sub guy. I like that. Looking around. No real changes there. Gaither was a trade. He signed Gerard Davis. So I imagine this was brought in purely just to help play on like those three linebacker run defensive sets. Kind of the same thing I had Tavai for, except Tavai was bad at that as well. <laughs> so yeah, I, I can see the logic there. You're not paying him too much. Unlike the Jets in real life where they threw like five mil guaranteed for one season. So that's more logical. Surratt still kicking around. I'm going to bring in Roby. I like that. Bring in a veteran presence. I'm good with that. Still got seven banks here. Harrison Hand was on the practice squad. I liked that. McCordy is kind of a veteran to Petra. Okay. Hopefully he plays better for you than he did for me. And, I mean, Harrison's slowly regressing, but he's still better than what you can get. This is probably a C plus. Solid moves, but not much. Uh, Graham, do you want to know speed, Graham? Is that what it is? Seventy-seven zone is probably the biggest concern here. Ninety awareness though, that's pretty pretty baller. And with that, we end our team evals. I think most teams ended up sitting somewhere in the C to B range. Few teams got A's, but I mean, if you have money to spend, that's kind of naturally how that works. Yeah, I'm sure, Grim. I think we had only one D, and that's just because I, I couldn't understand the the contracts. But again, always, always these ratings are always what I just initially see. I mean, I don't know if anyone thought of, uh, what was his name, Zach Pasc <laughs> Pascal <laughs> actually like playing well. He's played phenomenal <laughs> for the Browns. So there's always moves that are underrated that happen. We'll see which ones are we're, we're correct on and which ones are, uh, are going to be blowing up in my face come next season but with that we're going to end the stream of the of the review thank you for joining